Bob's Burgers has very quickly gone from being a kind of cult favorite that aired on Fox to a mainstream success since its original inception in 2011, and I gotta say, I absolutely love it. If you've seen my video on Gene Belcher, you know that I personally think that each one of the Belchers is neurodivergent in some way. With the exception of Bob, who I think is neurotypical and a very good supporter of his friends and family, but may also be neurodivergent, I'm not really sold in either direction. I'm still making up my mind about that. In any case, it is a very healthy family and I am here for these healthy wholesome family content things. Today I kind of want to bounce off my last video about Mabel Pines and introduce another little girl to you with ADHD and ASD in animation, Louise Belcher from Bob's Burgers. And fun fact, they're both voiced by Christian Shale, so that's pretty cool. If you don't know what ADHD and ASD are, very, very, very basically, ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and ASD stands for Autism Spectrum Disorder. These are neurodevelopmental disorders that can range in severity and may not always be obvious to outsiders. They can affect every part of a person's life, including their academic work, their schoolwork, and their social life, and they may or may not be comorbid. I myself have ADHD combination type. In my video about Mabel Pines, I go into a lot more detail about both and also what that overlap is, and so that I'm not like completely repeating myself in every single video for my regulars and also for the people who already know what a lot of this stuff is, I am going to put a card in this video right about now so that you can go check that out. With that said, I want to talk today about Louise. As in, geez, Louise, she's the best! For starters, I do want to talk about the fact that Louise isn't necessarily easily distracted, but she does have a lot of trouble shifting her focus and emotions. If she finds something that she's interested in, she insists on doing that thing, even if the people around her don't really want to do what she does. She does this thing where she goes, oh, I want to do this, and then nothing distracts her from that. But whatever it was she was supposed to be doing is what she got distracted from. She knows what she wants, she knows what she likes, she knows what she's interested in, and she will pursue it no matter what the personal cost might be. With the exception being if it comes at a high cost to somebody else. If it comes at a high cost to somebody else or it hurts their feelings, she will change and shift her direction to put that person's feelings first. Due to this focus on her own personal interests, she tends to have a lot of obscure knowledge that may be weird to the rest of her family or may not be something that even necessarily her friends are always into. For example, she's very much into anime and Japanese pop culture, even though the rest of her family really isn't. In one episode, she's so obsessed with a set of trading cards, she risks getting into trouble in order to make a trade of cards, even knowing that the trade could take place after school when she wouldn't get in trouble. Having trouble switching tasks and interests is a part of having poor executive functioning, which is something both ADHD and ASD directly impact. If Louise isn't personally interested in the subject, she complains about whatever it is that she's being asked to do loudly and repeatedly. In one episode, she gets so bored, she quite literally starts an underground casino in her parents' basement while they're gone. It's worth noting that Louise did this just because she was bored, not for any other reason. She goes to extreme lengths to avoid her boredom and quite often gets into trouble because of it, doing things like sneaking off on field trips with her friends and sneaking into an abandoned taffy factory to look for treasure. Louise is also very impulsive. While her plans and schemes are thought out, she's known to jump into things and react emotionally to people and events around her. In one instance, she feels left out by Bob and Jean getting into a series of movies and not including her, so much so that she takes the box of DVDs and stabs it with a fork. In another, she develops a crush on a boy in a boy band and so decides to sneak with Tina onto the tour bus and hide in their laundry. Impulsivity isn't out of her character, it's one of the defining characteristics of her character. The other defining characteristic that a lot of people attach to Louise that I would like to talk about is her hat. Throughout the series, we never see the top of Louise's head and I don't think we ever will. She is always wearing a bunny hat. She works this into her costumes on Halloween and takes the loss of her hat extremely seriously when a boy named Logan takes it so personally that she stalks him and then eventually asks a gang of bikers to pretend that they're going to cut off his ears in order to get the hat back. 
It's common for ADHDers and autistic people to have sensory experiences that we seek out. And I think this is what Louise's hat provides for her. It's like a security blanket or a comfort object. It's not that she's got like something going on with her scalp as some theories say. It's really just a child who has sensory issues looking for something that's comfortable for her. Louise has a lot in common with Jean, too. It was pointed out to me after I made my video that Jean probably has both ADHD and ASD, and I would like to say that while I cannot go back and remake that video because once you upload something it's kind of the final version, that hand cannon makes a lot of sense to me, and I wish my video had been about that. It makes even more sense when I consider the similarities between Jean and Louise, and there are many. They're both impulsive, they're both unaware of their volume, and this is more true when they're excited, and they both seek out particular sensory experiences, just to name a few similarities. They're different in personality, but they seem to share a lot of experience with how they view and interact with the world around them. They just have a lot of overlap, and I don't think it's just that siblings tend to behave similarly, I think it's that they are both very neurodivergent people. And they also have something else in common. They're both part of a very supportive family, one that nurtures their weirdness and loves them for it, rather than trying to correct or snuff it out. The supportive nature of the Belcher family is my favorite family dynamic on TV today, and I cannot wait to see what they do in future seasons. And also, they have a movie coming out next year? I think Louise definitely fits the character traits for someone who has both ADHD and is autistic. She likes certain sensory experiences. She is loud. She is impulsive. She is very skilled in some very specific things that you would have to really focus on in order to learn. Like She's got this whole thing of lockpicks. She's a very fun and loud and quirky character, and I don't think it's just that she's quirky. I think that she is neurodivergent. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you to all my patrons. You guys are really helping keep my head above water right now. If you like this or you like my other things, consider supporting me on Patreon. My Patreon is for my videos like this, my vlogs, and my asexuality and aromantic advocacy. So if you're into any of those things, definitely take a look over there. Thank you so much if you're already over on my Patreon. I'm not kidding when I say you guys are keeping me above water right now. Have a great day, and I will see you back here on this channel in a couple of weeks to discuss another character and how they overlap with mental health. Bye!